Bobby here with Body by Bobby. Wanted to talk a little bit about insulin spikes today. We were talking, a group of my friends actually were talking today about when do you want to spike your insulin. Actually, we're talk, talking mostly about when you want to eat your carbs, but that kind of goes hand in hand. So I'm going to touch on a little bit about insulin spikes, and obviously there's like a bunch of research you can do and find all kind of information. But the gist of it is, is you don't want to, you don't want to get a whole bunch of carbs, right? Like before you're working out. You want to get carbs, most of your carbs post-workout, in my opinion. I mean, and the research is going to bag it. And this is why. Basically, if you're getting carbs and you're spiking your insulin and you're moving nutrients to your body, well, if you're spiking your insulin and all that food's in you, it's just going to go to your stored, your stored fat or your stored cells, which is, which is your fat, right? So the best time to put it is when you, when you work out and, and your muscles are completely depleted, like the glycogen levels are gone. That's when you want to spike your insulin because you want the nutrients to be rushing to your muscles to, to basically, you know, fill the glycogen levels back up to help them repair, you know? Because shit, when I leave the damn gym, like my muscles are like, yo, I'm done. Like, help me. Give me something. I need nutrients right now. So it's like, you need, that's when you want to do it because it's when you're, when you're eating then, it's like you're, the, the food is going to your muscles. It's not going to your stored fat. Your body's like, okay, we need to do, we needed something to do, so we'll take this, we'll take these nutrients to move it to the muscle instead of earlier in the day when you do it, and it's like, oh, you know, we ain't really, we don't really need it. He's just eating, so I guess we'll just store it. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's what we're talking about, and it's like you just want to, it's more beneficial to spike your insulin post workout, you know. And you saw, you guys seen my uh, previous video, which is where I take a protein shake, but also. After that, I'm getting, you know, high glycemic index carbs because I'm trying to spike my insulin to get this protein in my muscle. When your insulin spike, that's when the nutrients are moving. Like I said, that's when they're moving through your body. Nutrients going to wherever it's needed. And if you go through some crazy resistance training or if you're working out properly, your muscles will be depleted and that's where, that's where the food's going. So, just want to let you guys, you know, let you know the conversation we have today about insulin spikes. If you have any other you know questions there's, there's tons of research about it. when you spike your insulin and all kind of you know data supporting it uh comment at the bottom if you like what you heard you know what i'm saying holla at your boy let me know something you know holla back at you